Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen children of all ages welcome to another video by yours truly the nice of four today we're gonna to be talking about our top five all-time favorite scare zones that have ever been at the event yeah. uh, for not scary farm now um, keep in mind they don't really change their scare zones really yeah. so it was not really that hard to make this list yeah um, so I'm, I'm gonna go off on a limb and just go ahead and start it off um, so number five is going to be coming at Fiesta Village. Yeah. Now they've done like a Dia de los Looks Muertos like kind of. They've been doing that theme for a long time. Yeah, yeah, and this is like the first year they're not going to be doing that. They're actually going to be turning that into like a dance party area. Yes. So that'd be like a cool little cool off area, you know what I mean? Uh, you'll catch me there dancing. Yep. Tony will probably be sitting on a bench. I will, because it'll probably be music I don't like. Yes. So I'm about to be like... But yeah, Fiesta Village, uh, the Dia de los Muertos in the past has been pretty cool. I like the costumes that they give them and stuff. And they give them those little, like, uh, little clam clackers. Oh, do they? For, like, mariachis and stuff. Oh, that's cool. So they're walking around with those and they're, like, scaring people with them, which I thought was a cool that's touch. That's funny. Um, I, I remember actually vividly when I worked the uh, event, because um, I used to work there just to do yeah, custodial. Back, back in the day. Yeah, in 2016, um, I actually talked to the, the people in Fiesta Village and they were just hilarious and cool. Yeah. So that was fun. Uh, what's your number five, bro? I'm gonna go with the same thing. I don't Fiesta have Village. a number five currently, so Fiesta Village. Fiesta Village. They've been, you know, that's a interesting area because obviously it's already branded as a Fiesta thing, so you're kind of stuck with all of the theming that's there. Definitely. And I think they've done a great job of being like, well, Day of the Dead is around the Halloween time. Let's use that. Let's use the makeup. Let's use the costumes. Yeah. I enjoy this idea of using like a dance party coming up this year too like you know because people may have not been enjoying it and kind of being like okay well let's try something different yeah and see what happens so i'm excited for that let's see what's up uh number four is going to go to the hollow which is the scare zone in camp snoopy now that's been there for quite some time now um and that was another one i had fun in that was another one i got to work in when in 2016 when i worked at the event um and a lot of the characters were cool in there too when i would talk to them like after you know in the break areas like yeah. they would be super cool with me and I actually remember one girl and if she's watching god bless her fucking heart but yeah. um there was one girl who like literally appreciated everything I did like job wise like keeping the park clean and stuff like that and yeah. then like she came up to me after like she's like I, I was serious about that like you guys do a lot for this park I want to thank you and I was like hey, hey, hey no problem I just like watching you guys it's pretty fun yeah but um Hollows is cool because they have a lot of like um interesting characters I think they got like um they got pirates in there. They got some scarecrow people. Yeah. Like they got a bunch of witches walking around. So that's that's a fun uh, scare zone to walk through, and definitely gonna be one to check out. Yeah, I'm gonna go the same thing with the hollows here at four. Uh, Cause Cam Snoopy, once again, you have a very hard problem. Yeah. It's a child friendly area typically. They, they done the day to day. They just darken it. Yeah. Add fog and scary music, and it's fucking scary. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what makes it really cool. And because there's no rides, basically, you, there's no rides going on during the event. No. The only ride that's open in uh, it's probably Sierra, Sierra Sidewinder. Yeah. Which is right on the outside of it. Yeah. And so there's that. There's, like, the cave area over there that's kind of creepy. And but they don't open that. I mean, they don't open that because it's liability. Issue. It's literally just a walk through all the way through. Yeah. Like, they, they have it all blocked off in certain yeah. areas, so. And you're kind of stuck in that. Yeah. You have to follow the path. Yeah. Whereas other places you can kind of like twist and turn. Move around a little bit. Yeah. yeah, but you're either walking all the way to the other side to get to Fiesta, or you're walking from Fiesta to get towards the front of the park. Yeah. You really don't have any other option. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's ma there's a uh, what maze is in there? Uh, pumpkin eater. Pumpkin eater. So you know people are trying to get the pumpkin eater, and that's uh, the only way you can go. Yeah, pretty much. Number three is gonna go to Forsaken. Like this was a scare zone that they that they've had at the event in the past, but they brought it back last year. Yeah. And uh, it was a pretty cool scare zone. This is the scare zone that's located in between um, Silver Bullet and Fiesta Village. Uh, and I really had a fun time with this scare zone. This the scare zone was fun. Uh, the, the the whole Forsaken Lake um, kind of origin of it was was cool. It was like 
this like old like lake and all these sea monsters were coming out and witches yeah. and stuff which I thought was really cool so uh, it, it was a really cool uh, scare zone and I'm really excited to walk through it again I'm gonna I'm gonna go with something different here at number three I'm gonna go with Card Evil oh nice because uh, I feel like every time every time I walked through Card Evil in 2009 and it may have changed now I don't haven't really seen walkers is the boardwalk is super bright yeah um, and so that kind of takes away from the scare. However, that gives it a more carnival vibe. No, no, and I get that. It does It does fit the carnival vibe. Yeah. And it's a good idea because you have, once again, you're stuck with thieving in the boardwalk. Yeah. Uh, and so it's like, well, might as well use it to have clowns. You know? Definitely. Uh, and they have they have chainsaws or they don't have chainsaws? No, Knott's is the, uh, they don't do chainsaws anymore. Yeah. Knott's is more famous for their sliders. Yeah, which is... We'll, we'll, we'll be talking about later. <laughs> Our homegirls are doing that. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, so I'll go with Carnival. Because it doesn't as scary, but you know, the clowns, people have the phobia of clowns. Yeah. So it's definitely a good scare zone because people get terrified. I eat my sister. And oh, I can, man. I cannot wait. We're going to send in the clowns. That's definitely some footage we're going to have to get. Any yeah. clown scare actors watching out there? Uh, Celine will be with us if you see the two tall towers walking. Mm -hmm. Selena will be probably right behind us, so by all means, go for it. Yeah. One year, I know that she went to Scary Farm. Her friends called all the clowns. Oh. And we're going with freaking uh, Eric and Adrian. I don't doubt they'll do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, my number two is actually Carnival. Now, I love Carnival. Uh, I love I love clowns, for one. Uh, I never used to as a kid, but yeah. like now as I've grown into it, like clowns are some of the most terrifying things that make an event. Uh... I've actually met, again, a couple of these scare actors back to my days at fucking nuts. Back in the day. Um, there's actually one who uh, has like a top hat, kind of dressed like a slash clown, which oh, I thought really? was That's pretty cool. cool. Yeah, and I met a couple that the, they're, they're just really enthusiastic about their job, and, and yeah. they're really cool, and, and I really enjoy that. Um, last year, I had a lot of fun in that scare zone. Like, a lot of the clowns were following our, our, my group, and like, they would just talk to me, and they would, we would be bullshitting and stuff like that, and it was, it was, it was cool. So, like, yeah. a lot of the clown scare actors were badass. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I love Carnival, and it, that's where Dark Red and Shadowlands are at. So yeah, we're gonna have to go through there regardless. Yes, definitely. Um, and my number two then is going to be Bordeaux Lake. I love the costuming that I saw last year. Yeah. From uh, the different things I've seen on that scare zone, and it's a good use of the area. You have a large area because Silver Bullet's such a large roller coaster. Yeah. So you might as well use that. There is that little lake thing in the yeah, middle, so it's like cool. I, you know, this is the one that I'm going to give, once again, a shout out to Knott. You have a theme in the area, use it. Yeah. they That's, an, that's the thing about their thing. They try to use every little area of their park they can. Yeah. The theming, because like like you said, they have an area for a theme. Might as well put some use to it. Yeah. And so you just change a couple of things, add a couple of things, and you just made it that much better. I can speak for our number one for both of us. Yeah. And that would be the OG Ghost Town Streets. Yeah, it um, doesn't change. It doesn't change, and it's a, it's it doesn't matter. It's a badass scare zone. Regardless. Oh yeah, that it is, is known for fog alley. That is like literally the alley where you can't even see your fucking head in front of yeah. your face. Yeah. On top of that, we know a couple homies that will be working in that scare zone, so we are very excited to I'm, go visit. Yeah, them. I'm excited too because I think in 2009, like I went through it, but like I don't remember it. But I'm really excited because. It's just a cool area, like. Yeah, it really is, and then on top of that, it extends out to the um, the four mazes located behind Ghost Rider. Oh, does it? So it goes down. It goes down to the Chop House and everything, and then when you pass um, when Ghost you Rider. pass no, when you pass Ghost Town through the street in the back where like the schoolhouse and everything is at, yeah, kind of goes in that area too. Like so, towards the graveyard too. Right? Yeah, towards the graveyard, and it hits all that area of Calico. So it's a pretty big scare zone. Yeah. Um, and they they really utilize the space for that, which is yeah. it's cool because. That, there's a lot of characters that usually try out for that position, and if you get in that position, like... Well, yeah, it's, it's for the best of the best. You made it, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Ghost Town Streets has to offer this Yeah, because I know when I went in 2009, they didn't really utilize... They they had that back area, but they didn't really utilize the scares of going towards that back area. Yeah, now they really do. So if they're using that, too, that's really cool. Yeah, they utilize every area they can now. Um, so that is going to do it for our all-time favorite uh, scare zones at Not Scary Farm this year. We are a little close to the event now. We are, um... Well, what day is this coming out? Hey, Tuesday. Yes. So we are 
Two days away. Two days away. From Not Scary Farm opening night. And I couldn't be more psyched, dude. Yeah. I'm excited. So, catch us at Not Scary Farm opening night. We'll be there for a couple hours. But then, if you really want to hang out with us the entire night, the Friday, September 20th. Yes. We will be there. So. Or if you want to hang out with us any other night, once again, shameless plug. Shameless plug. Watch our haunt schedule. Season. Yeah, we're going to be yeah. not probably more than Hornets this year. Well, 10 times. Yeah. So. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this video, and we will see you guys tomorrow. And see you in the fog.